some people are gonna tell you that riding motorbikes is a hobby, but it's not. It's a lifestyle. Riding motorbikes, it's not just all about hot chicks and going fast, wind in your face. It's about the freedom. I've been hearing a lot of people lately, in my face, saying, Dustin, that's not even a real motorbike. That's not even three horsepower. Guess what? Frickin' this is 10 horsepower. This is 10 horsepower. And guess what else? Come on, baby. Ugh. Yeah. Gears. Know what that means? Double it. Double the horsepower. What are you running on that bike? Street slicks? Running street slicks? It's a street mix, does it all. Dirt, pavement, trail, park, trailer park. See this tank? Two liters. Give me three and a half weeks, I'll be in Tijuana. Won't even use up the first tank. Okie dokie. All jokes aside, I have been getting a tremendous amount of comments asking about this ridiculous little bicycle that I have. Oh, and I've decided to name it the Gnarly Davidson. I think that's hilarious. There's stickers coming. It's going to be great. But so many people are asking, where can I buy this? Or I see a very frequent comment, my country doesn't have this. This isn't something that you can really buy. This is just a regular mountain bike frame, and then you purchase the motor. Every normal frame can fit one of these motors. You just have to measure your frame and then order the specific motor that will fit into that frame. There's a whole bunch of different makes and models and whatever you want. So let's first just dive into this frame that I have here. This is just a cheapy mountain bike frame. And when the motor is running and when it's not running, you can operate this just as a regular mountain bike. You can go through the gears and the motor is a centrifugal clutch. So even when you're up to speed, you can throttle down and continue pedaling and the clutch will disengage so you can ride it just like a mountain bike. The only thing you really change to the bike itself is when you order the kit, it will come with this extended crank. That's so your legs can get over top of the motor. And for me, that's what's one of the funniest things about this because you're sitting so goofy with your legs out like that and people can see that it's a, a bicycle, but you also don't look like you're riding a motorbike with your legs like that. So to me, that's really funny. The only other kind of customization is to get this sprocket on here. So you have the chain on the right hand side that's driven by the rider. And then this chain on the left hand side is driven by the engine. And this sprocket is literally just rubber on this side and then bolts going through and then the sprocket on this side and it kind of just squishes to the spokes. This is where I've had all of my problems. Keep in mind, I drive this the way that you should never ride one of these things. I wouldn't say that I jump it, but any little rock or stick I'm always hopping off of and torquing it up way too steep of hills. And I find that the engine will twist and then blow the chain off or it won't stay under tension. I'll actually bend this tensioner. So if you can, I'd recommend going with a spring loaded uh, chain tensioner because I'm always having problems with that. So whenever I'm going out on like a trail, I know you laugh because I trail ride this. I don't trail ride it like a dirt bike. It's just transportation, but most of the places I'm trying to get are off road somewhere. But whenever I go out, I always carry some tools with me. So if anything needs to be fixed or straightened, I can do so. And if worse comes to worse, you can just ride it back like a regular bicycle. So that's pretty cool. What I have for an engine on here is a 50cc four stroke. And I'd recommend staying with a 50cc because you don't need a special license to ride it. And it's kind of a, uh, unknown the legalities behind this because if you on, go on Google, it'll tell you here in British Columbia, we can ride these things on the road like a regular bicycle. But a lot of people say that they've gotten tickets and gotten in trouble riding this. I haven't had any experience yet, but I know as soon as you go above 49 cc's, then you need a motorcycle license. And I do have my motorcycle license, but even with an 80 cc or 150 cc, you're gonna have a really hard time going highway speed and especially being safe. So I like the 49 cc one. Um, being a four stroke, 
I don't think it matters either way. You'd think that this would be quiet and reliable. So far, it has been very reliable. It starts up and goes, and I ride this thing on the rev limiter almost everywhere I go. So it's been a great little motor, but the four stroke is actually way louder than I expected. I guess the one benefit is you don't have to mix the gas and you don't have that um, blue smoke all the time from burning the oil. And then this little tank on here, this is just a, I think it's 2.2 liters and this will take you about a hundred kilometers. So that's a really fun and efficient way to kind of put on some miles and not be in a rush. And it's really enjoyable for me. This bike, it's so funny. It has this little rack on the back. And uh, if you guys have been watching the channel, you've probably seen me put two crab traps and a bucket on that and whip down to the dock. And that's why I love this thing because Everywhere you go, you're gonna make somebody smile. It's really, really funny. And if you just embrace it and go in, knowing you're riding this ridiculous thing, it can really be a lot of fun. I've had several different highway motorcycles myself, and I always have more fun on a moped or a scooter or something like this because it's so fun just to not care. Anyways, that's kind of what this bike is. Um, if you guys have any specific questions, please let me know down in the comments. I can always make another one of these or just reply to the comments down below. Other than that, thanks for watching. <laughs>